All right, I'm back from uh, locking pliers. But let's get y'all set up and y'all will watch me do my best to get this fuel tank grommet out of this gas tank. Yeah, first things first, get the patient position just right and then spray some kind of lubricant down in there to help loosen up this first part. The actual 90 degree angle feed line on the uh get the, get the 90 degree angle fuel line out of the tank we're gonna try locking pliers yeah we're gonna do them get that out because it's not gonna be easy because it's been in here a while it's been in here since the mold was New back in what 2003, somewhere, somewhere along in there. Get them locked on and keep working it. It'll come out, it'll just take your time. Try to grip it as best possible, keep the tank still. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to spray some lubricant down in the uh opening where the actual grommet goes. And then work that around a little bit. And just like I said, just keep working that, you'll eventually get it out we have to work it back and forth that said you know and if you have to uh, soak it in some hot water to help get things nice and pliable again because I said it can be a pain in the butt to get it out yeah got it boom yeah, took a little bit, but all right. Old grommet's out. Whew, tell you what, it takes some doing, takes some thinking, but main thing is lubricated, working back and forth. Boom, it'll come right on out. Now to check to make sure that. The new fuel grommet, you know, fuel grommet are pretty much the same thing. And I was hoping the new one's gonna fit in that hole on the gas tank. Cause otherwise, I'm gonna be up to all creek without a paddle. I just have to put a new gas tank on. All right, let's see if we can get the new one in. Said sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, sometimes you end up having to, you know, just try a little uh, motor oil on it. That'll help it go in better because it's going to be, you know, a dry fit if you don't. Lubricate it properly. Now make it where it go in just right. Because you don't want to damage your fuel tank. Because if you don't have new a replacement fuel tank, well, guess what? You're up all creek out of power. All right, that's lubricated. Go get a rag. I had all this stuff written and I forgot to get a rag to keep the seal wiped off. Let's try this again. Get the 
you run it lined up just right. And see, you just got to keep working with it. Get it in there. Yeah. Make sure that you get all the way down. You do not want any uh, gaps between the gas box, top of the fuel tank grommet and the uh, gas tank. Because otherwise, you're going to have gas pulling back out when you go to put gas in it. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just make sure that you just keep working it down so you don't have any gaps. There's other videos on YouTube about how to do this, but you need to be uh, search word specific in finding the right video because there's different things. Different videos on different gas tanks and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. That's in like Flynn. Because I hate to have to do it again. But that's pretty much it. Now, you check for, uh, you know, the ability to turn. You want to have just enough turning ability is the way you line it up. When you go to put it on the uh back on your lawnmower, you have to figure out which way to put the gas tank back in. Then you turn the fuel grommet the right way to make sure that it is going to line up the fuel line. Now they do make these that have the built-in shutoff, and they even probably make them where you have actual fuel filter inside the gas tank to help prevent any uh. <coughs> The breeze from getting through in, into the carburetor, but to ensure that you have adequate uh, filtration, also put in a inline fuel filter. The double filtration it helps because now if this gets clogged up with the breeze and the other filter catches it. No problem, but it, you got to keep them filters clean. Because dirty fuel filter won't let gas flow properly, and the engine will start running funny. But that is it. New fuel grommet and 90 degree fuel line are in place. You could just make sure that you get it down. Is the way when you put gas in, you don't have any leakage. Because gas ain't getting cheap, people. No matter what grade you buy or where you buy it. The main thing is try to find ethanol free gas. Because with engines today, you definitely have to shut off the inline shut off valve. To keep gas from getting in the car ready and causing issues because then you spend a lot more money on uh, repairs. But I said, you know, that's perfect. I could try working it down a little bit more. I said, I still got a little bit of a gap, but you know, it is what it is and got it done. Well, I said, that's how you replace fuel grommet and 90 degree fuel line elbow on a Husqvarna gas tank. This also might work for other tanks, just depends on your tank. But y'all have a good one, and I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.